This is the Let's Go Win Podcast with your host, J.M. Ryerson. (laughs) (laughs) What's happening, you guys? It's J.M. Welcome to Let's Go Win Podcast. We are doing some Tuesday tune-up. I am J.M. Ryerson, and to my right... Lisa Ryerson. Thank you. The reason we are breathing (laughs) uh, is that's what we're going to talk about today. Breathe, just breathe. Now, this is one of the most basic things that make us human is breathing. However, we suck at it as human beings, typically. (laughs) Um, which is really interesting because we do, we're we're keeping ourselves alive, of course, but the way that we breathe over time, we have really lost the the art of how to do it properly. So that's what I want to talk about today. Before I give you some of my ideas, do you have any thoughts on breathing? Well, it's needed, right? First of all, it's very vital (laughs) to your well being. Um, but yeah, I have to remind myself to breathe, which is interesting because you think you're breathing, right? You're alive. But I do catch myself at times where I don't know if I get in a certain situation and everything's like, everything just tightens up. And I'm like, why am I holding my breath? That's so silly. Right. And if I would just breathe, it just relaxes everything. Your good news is you're not alone. In fact, most athletes, literally, this is something that you'll, you'll see them they're very, very aware of, or people that are about to go perform on stage. They all have a form of a breathing exercise that they do. And that is quite literally to calm nerves, breathe life into them. So it's, you're not alone, I guess is the long winded point. So good that you remind yourself to breathe. That's important. (laughs) Um, But it is something that it's funny because there are certain exercises and that's what we'll talk about today that you can do that literally make breathing, make your life better if you just practice. So I know I talk about meditation a lot. I talk about journaling a lot, breathing, doing breath work every single day. And actually, if you don't have time to do both, I'm going to give you a couple forms that can be considered both meditation and breathing. You can do them simultaneously, saving yourself time. So uh, it was funny in the blog and as I wrote about this, (laughs) the song, just breathe. You, I, I'm not saying singing it correctly, but you know the movie that it was from. What you know that <laughs> it's such a romantic comedy, but it's with Ashton Kutcher and uh, what the heck is the name? Mila of, what? Kunis. What Mila Kunis? No, it's a movie you've always watched. You've seen me, and it's the show. It it's a lot like love. Oh yeah, like your favorite romantic comedy. Ever. But the song <laughs> that is breathe, just breathe. I can't, I don't do it correctly, but that's the song. Oh, that, how funny. Yeah, so anyway, um, Tumo breathing. Do you know what that is? What? Tumo breathing. I do it every mm. single day. I don't know if you realize this. No, Tumo breathing? Tumo, T-U-M-M-O. Nope. Uh, Wim mm-hmm. Hof is kind of the one who brought it to the Western world. This has been been done from Tibetan monks, traditionally the ones that have been doing this for many, many years. In fact, this is such a powerful breathing technique. They can literally melt ice laying on just a sheet. They can melt ice by doing this breathing technique. It's actually called breath of fire. So mm-hmm. it's very simple, but it does. So what you would do is you're going to breathe through your nose. So go ahead because I have to talk you through it. And then you breathe back out through your mouth, okay? In through your nose, right? And as you're going inhaling, imagine that you're, you're, there's fire in your tummy, okay? So literally you're imagining flames, okay? So you're doing breathing. <laughs> Sorry. Why, because I said tummy? No, because you may, be, you may not want to be doing this exercise very often. Why? Because you have too much fire in your tummy already. Oh, geez. I'm just having a (laughs) tough day. But look, focus, please. Sorry. Um, Breathe in your nose. 
So you're breathing through your nose five. and you're getting fire is what you're imagining. Mm-hmm. Now, you do that five times. On the sixth time, you breathe in and you're going to hold. And your goal is to hold that breath, not, you know, not breathing out, it, hold all of it for a minute. Okay? Now, in <sighs> consecutively... <laughs> I was holding that entire time. That was not a minute. No, it no. was nowhere near <laughs> a minute. But that's okay. Look, you could do it for 30 seconds. And what you'll find is progressively, because you're going to do that segment three times, where you're going to breathe through your nose, out through your mouth. And I, you do it, I do it up to five. So in, then out. Then on the sixth time, I breathe in. And you hold and you imagine the flames in your stomach. Meanwhile, it, it's, it's a form of meditation. And what the reason that you would do it is it brings clarity. It immediately snaps you out. If any of you have ever been hung over, this is a great exercise to overcome it. I'm not kidding. Like It is very practical in our modern world, not just to melt ice, but to become more clear. So I know you've never done it before, except for why you weren't talking for that last <laughs> 30 seconds. Um, this is one of my favorite things. So you didn't know I did this, do you? No. Do you go up to a minute? Oh, I go, yeah, I'll go a minute, typically the first time, then I'll go a minute and a half to a minute 15. Oh, I'll- but you have good lungs, though, from swimming. Well, but it's been, it. this, I've, I didn't, I started the same way as you did, like 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Because what happens is mentally we're saying we need to breathe. We have to get this out. But the truth is you could hold it far longer than that. Okay. But uh, the carbon dioxide, it makes, it actually creates fear. I don't know all the science behind it exactly, but I will say specific to breathing, this form of tumo breathing is a great way to reset your day get clear for the day, and it takes you about five to seven minutes every single day. Okay? Two more on. Two more on. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, well, we're going to go to the next one. (laughs) Okay. So, diaphragmatic breathing. When I say that, do you know what that means? I'm assuming that has something to do with your diaphragm. Yes. So, this would be, so often, we breathe through our chest. And you were talking about it earlier, you'll forget to breathe. And typically, if somebody scares you, you quickly breathe through your chest, right? Mm -hmm. Here's the problem with that. When you do that, you're actually creating uh, your anxiety spikes. Now, your blood pressure goes up because you're, you're literally, your heart, you're breathing through your chest. If you can learn to practice to breathe through your diaphragm, and anybody that's ever sung you learn this because it allows you to hold notes longer. Um, it, it gives you far more oxygen to do these things. So be aware of breathing through your chest. And so what you should, well, excuse me, what you can imagine is breathing through your stomach and it, it expanding like a balloon. Do you do this or mm-hmm. do you, are you more of a chest breather? Well, it depends on the situation, uh, but I learned how to breathe through my diaphragm when I was in high school, actually, because, and I don't, it was so random. I was playing, I think it was one of my dad's buddies. We were playing tennis and I had a tournament that weekend and he said, you know what, Lisa? He goes, it's really important when you're breathing to breathe into your, well, he said his through his stomach, right? So then you push out your stomach and it's something that we have to practice because I remember being in high school and sitting there and practicing like, okay, how, because usually when we breathe in, everything just kind of, most people just breathe in and they suck in, Mm -hmm. but in order to breathe in and push out your stomach, that means all the oxygen is actually going into like deep into your tummy or diaphragm or whatnot. And so it's something that I've actually been teaching, um, TJ and Trey how to do. Yeah. It's good because it's for whatever reason, we have learned to just breathe through our chest Mm -hmm. and and here's some of the benefits uh, when you're breathing through your through your stomach. So, uh, it, your lowers your blood pressure and your heart rate, reduces your stress level, and slows down your breathing. That's the other thing that happens with chest breathing. As human beings, we breathe too much, so we don't need that much air. It's just something that we we breathe rapidly, but it's not very effective. So next time you're thinking, if you don't have time to do tumor breathing, so maybe your breath work on a daily basis is just 
slow down and breathe through your stomach or your tummy mm-hmm. or however you want to think of it. I always think of a balloon. So when I breathe in, it expands and then you breathe out typically through your mouth. You can do it through your nose, but I prefer to breathe out through my mouth. Now, the last one is breathing through your nostrils. And there's an incredible book by uh, James Nesser, and it's called Breath, The New Science of a Lost Art. And it's remarkable what he has done in this book. So I know an uh, entire book, like 200 pages on breathing, really, J.M.? <laughs> It's absolutely fascinating, I think, anyway, because our, the shape of our face has changed because we are such mouth breathers. If you, so anybody listening that you have problems snoring, or any of you gals that have, I, I guess it's not a male female thing, but typically in our relationship, I would be the one if I've, you know, if I'm too tired or if I had maybe too much to drink. I will snore. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that you can do is just tape your mouth. And that literally will almost eliminate your snoring within a week. Oh, I've got tons of masking tape. I'm pulling it out. (laughs) Because I don't snore that often. But so again, this slows you down and breathing through your nostrils and back out through your mouth there's so many uh, amazing things that are coming from this. So I'll give you some of those benefits. Do you find yourself being a mouth breather or a nose breather typically? Nose breather. Really? Hmm? Do you breathe in through your nose and then back out through your nose? No, in, in through, through my nose. No- oh, like normally yeah. if I'm just walking, nose, nose, nostril, nostril. Uh-huh. Why is that? that I who- mean, that's not common. Most people don't. Most people really? are mouth breathers. 100%. Like your mouth is open throughout the day and you're like, because I don't want to be breathing on people. Yes. You know what? You are a mouth breather because <laughs> now that I think about it, I'll wake up sleeping, you know, while we're sleeping and I'll wake up and I'll just feel your breath on my neck. Yeah. I don't like that very much. So you're a mouth breather. Sometimes. I'm a nose. I'm a nose breather. So the, the benefits part. of breathing through your nostrils is it reduces anxiety, it relaxes your mind and body reduces snoring yes so and we do have i have tape so don't worry i can do that (laughs) and it just promotes your overall well-being so i i hope you guys do check out james nester's book i think it's amazing uh because it's literally all on how to breathe more effectively and if any of you are watching phil mickelson uh, when he won the pga championship the entire time he was focused on breathing through his nose and back out through his mouth very conscious of it and Again, he's the oldest person to ever win a major. So it's something that people are employing in sports. And again, not that you have to do that but just to play sports. Everyday life, we want to perform in our very best. So yeah. any other thoughts? I know this was more technical, but. Yeah, I think it also helps with sleeping. So I know like some nights where I can't fall asleep or it's hard. Um, I actually breathe through my nose, expand my belly. And then breathe out through my mouth. And it's amazing. And I'll, and sometimes I'll count backwards, like from 100. And I usually only typically get to like 80 something and I'm knocked out. But the breathing just helps. That's how you put yourself to sleep sometimes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, I didn't know that either. I mean, most of the time I don't need it. I'm like an amazing, amazing sleeper. I think I might have narcolepsy. Because I'll just thunk. <laughs> Which is incredible because you still have blue light with a tear to your Phone to your face. Yes, I do. The worst thing. Anyway, we're not talking about sleeping <laughs> today. Anyway, think about your breathing. Be conscious of it. Take five minutes. Part of your meditation, just literally breathing. That's why yoga is so important. That's why some of these, uh, when you do meditation, they talk so much about your breathing because daily we don't think of it and it's and we don't breathe properly. So mm-hmm. I talked about James Nestor's book. I would love for people to go check out our book. Where, where can they find it? Let's go win.com or Amazon. It's on Amazon. It was a bestseller. So it's a g- easy read. I always tell everybody it's a really, really easy read. And, um, and you just get really good nuggets from it. I hope you guys check mm-hmm. it out. I would love to get feedback from you. Uh, I'd love to hear how it hits you one way or the other, good, bad, and different. And uh, yeah, go to let's go win.com. Pick up the book, you guys. I think it's like 15 bucks or something. Share it with some friends. Get it out there. Uh, we want to continue to inspire people to live their best lives. So until next time. Just breathe.
Breathe. <laughs> just breathe. That's how it is. But it still doesn't sound right. She sounds so much better. Anyway, continue transcending life. We'll talk to you then. Thank you so much for listening. If this content is delivering value to you, please make sure to subscribe, rate, and review us. That helps us build this community, and that is what we are all about. Building this community as big as we can, helping as many people as we can, and deliver as much value as possible. Be sure to head over to letsgowinpodcast.com for information on my coaching courses, and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn at Let's Go Win 365. Let's go win and transcend in life. This is the Let's Go Win Podcast with your host, J.M. Ryerson. 